Did you know you can make your computer much more reliable with just the change of one simple setting in Windows 11? Reduce the chance of apps not working, devices not connecting, random crashing and networks not connecting. Worse still, you could lose personal files, photos, music and videos. Now, it's a little known fact by many users that Microsoft are pushing out feature updates to everyday users to test before they're ready for an official release. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. You may have noticed recently you might be getting more updates than ever before and this could be because you've got a certain setting turned on which means that you're helping Microsoft test their updates whilst risking the reliability of your computer. When Microsoft design an update they test it in several ways. First of all they test it on thousands of different configurations in-house. Then they send off the updates to partner organisations who also do testing. These organisations are organisations that perhaps release software like antivirus or device drivers like sound printers, scanners, display, etc. It's then sent off to enterprise organisations where they can release the updates on test computers to test in their working environments. The updates are then sent out to what they call Windows Insiders. These are people that have signed up to a programme to have updates downloaded to their PCs early on so that they can test them on their home or office PCs. Now, there are literally hundreds of thousands of users out there, if not millions, that are testing these updates. And if they encounter any problems on their PCs, they're supposed to report back to Microsoft. Then on the third or fourth week of each month, a week or two ahead of its official release, these updates are pushed out as preview updates to many more users that have a certain setting switched on. And Microsoft have set this setting on by default on a lot of people's computers. And I've seen many reports on the internet of these preview updates causing issues on users' computers, such as stopping printers from working, stopping apps from loading, network connections being lost, devices not working, and worse still, in some cases, causing random crashes on PCs. So I would strongly advise that you turn off this particular setting that we're gonna discuss in a minute to restore reliability this is especially important if you use your computer for work. So how do you find this setting? Well, you just click on the start menu at the bottom of the screen, then click on the settings cog from the start menu that's just appeared, and then click on Windows Update just at the bottom of the screen, and then you'll see under more options there, this setting, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they roll out. Now, if this is turned on like mine is, then you need to turn that off just by clicking on the little switch there. There you go, it's now turned off. You might find, like me, if you've already got a preview update downloading or installing, then unfortunately, Microsoft don't allow you to stop that, I'm afraid. So you're just gonna have to let that one roll through. But turning this setting off, will actually stop any further preview updates. You'll only get those updates when they're 100% ready for release. Now, don't worry about security updates. These will come through automatically when they're ready. As this says here, you are not delaying any security updates. Turning this off only applies to non-security updates. It only applies to new features being added, changed or removed in Windows 11. Now, this is not a new option, but it's only recently I've noticed Microsoft turning this setting on automatically without the user's knowledge. So this is why I'm making this video now. It's to make you aware and give you a chance to turn this off before it really does give you a headache. Now, let us know in the comments down below if the setting was turned on on your computer. Now, I know many people are going to comment and say that, oh, ditch Microsoft 
left and switch to Linux. Linux is another operating system. But for many, it's not that simple as you can't just do an upgrade to limit Linux and keep all of your apps and your files. You need to back up your files and either wipe your current system and install Linux or partition your hard drive and install Linux alongside Windows. But this still means that you've got to manually transfer your files and install your apps, some of which won't be available on Linux. Some devices won't have drivers for Linux and therefore may not work. Also, it's a new system to understand and there's every likelihood that when there's when problems do occur, then there'll be more than likely not be any family member or friends that are around to help you, as many of us only have experience in Windows. So do think very hard if you do follow one of these comments that are no doubt going to be in, left in this video saying that I'll just upgrade to Linux. Well, it's not just a matter of upgrading to Linux. It's, it is quite long winded. And if you don't know a lot about computers, it's not that simple. The best thing to do is subscribe to this channel, follow my videos. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how you can really tame the beast that is Microsoft that you feel may be turning things on that you don't really want turned on. I'm going to tell you in a series of videos how to turn these things off that you really don't need switched on and keep your Windows at bay.